Crimping and anti-mark power pole connectors are an important part of this year's hardware changes. So all of the power this year is transferred through anti-mark power pole connectors on the robot. So the faulty, flimsy Tetrix connectors of the past are now gone. Uh, but with anti-mark connectors, they come in two parts, uh, four parts actually. So these are the two external connector parts. And to make sure that they line up with the motor controller uh, or um, the power distribution module, uh, actually just plug them in and check that they're in the right direction. So you can't plug in black to red or red to black, just red to red and black to black. And yeah, so this is the right orientation. So to assemble the power pole connector, um, one, of, one of the uh, connectors have a notch on the end and the other one has like a hole. You just slide the hole over the notch and it snaps together like that. So uh, now you have to put the wire in the connector. So first, you, uh, you should never crimp onto a soldered connection. So chop off the two soldered ends of the wire. Always wear safety glasses while doing this, because if this flies into your eyes, that's not fun. Uh, then get the right size uh, wire stripper and strip off like uh, half a centimeter's worth of wire. And twist the ends of the wire. And then uh, pick up two of these metal pins that you will crimp the wires onto. So here is the Andymark power pole crimp. So this is a 45 uh, gauge, and this is a 45 amp connector. So put the connector, uh, put the pin into the 45 uh, hole with the with the U shaped thing facing up and then put the wire inside the hole and then crimp together when it stops clicking, it's done. And then uh, move on to the, put it in the second hole. And then crimp for a second time. Yeah, so now this connector is ready to be slid into the power pole connector. So, uh, just slide it in and force it until you hear a click and that's when it's done. Now you repeat the same process for the other wire and you will be able to insert the other wire into the other side of the connector and you can plug this motor into the motor controller.